enough for the, for this long time on the pitch, uh, becoming home, we're really happy. And I think that uh, we deserve to go through this this uh, another round. Uh, I mean, one more time to show uh, which potential we still have and uh, what we need to do on the pitch. And I think this is looking very nice. To, uh, on the first half, uh, we received, uh, let's say, many goals, but then uh, we put the control on our game and uh, we followed the rules, what we need to do on the pitch. And uh, yeah, during the game, how game going on to the end, uh, we have just more and more control on the ball and uh, we create more chances. And uh, at the end, uh, like I said, um, we deserve win. It's a bit so bright that uh, you are very calm, it's a bit uh, wild night, a lot of atmosphere, uh, how was the keep head uh, clear uh, during this match? Oh, we celebrate now in the dressing room, so now I'm calm in front of you, but uh, yeah, a lot of emotion we put inside this game and a lot of power, a lot of energy, but uh, this is uh, why, we tra why we train every day, why we play football, because of these nice, uh, nice wins, uh, how we make uh, tonight. What was the main things uh, coach said to you? What was necessary to kill this game, to kill the opponent, because it's a uh, very big time when uh, they were in front? Uh, during the last game, we changed the system, uh, how we played there, and now uh, it was a little bit different. And I think that uh, we have more, more control to the ball. And yeah, when we have uh, control to the ball, uh, we have uh, more quality, and uh, we know which spaces we need to attack, uh, which which spaces we need to use. And uh, yeah, we listen uh, what coach said during this preparation for the game, and then uh, this is uh, at the end the goals, how many we score. Do you feel more comfortable with the system? Uh, it it depends uh, how open and play, but uh, I think that uh, in the both system we know how to play, we know how, what to do, and uh, it's, it's just on us how, how we were looking on the pitch. And more about emotions, uh, the wildest football night in your career, or maybe you remember something else? Ah, this game for sure is the wild, wildest one, but yeah. Uh, we are really happy and uh, we're looking forward to, to prepare now uh, for the for the first uh, for the supernova and then after uh, the for the next opponent in Europe. Opponents are playing uh, overtime as uh, you know now. Uh, you want uh, cover me or uh, uh, I don't like to choose, so let's let's see who will who will win this game. But uh, whoever will play in in front of us, uh, we are not scared and uh, we know. Uh, which quality we have, and then yeah, we will really show our best for sure. Okay, coach, your commentary about the match. <laughs> Good evening, all together. Um, it was yesterday here sitting and uh, talking uh, about some ideas about this game, what will happen. And uh, first of all, uh, I want to say thank you to all of you, to all people, to all children all uh, which come today to to our Skonto stadium and um, to support us and it was amazing uh, euro euro cup game and um, that's why we love football and um yes i don't know big congratulations to my players and uh, to my coaching staff to to all people here in club, which which are important, you know, it's like a puzzle. Everybody give his influence from Chris to Mr. Pronin to Mr. Damashin to all people which in the kitchen, you know, this is their win, you know, they 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 keep they keep uh, fingers for us, and um, no, it's nice. I told after the game to my players, I feel like it's it's a special game. It was a special game because I think after this game, everybody believe in us. You know, we can speak about love, about pressure, about some things, but this game can change a lot. And this game, you know, like wake up, um, this believing, this Uyarenye, and this is uh, very important, you know. And I think now players believe, uh, club uh, maybe believe more in my players, in me. In, I think this is very important to to for our for our way together and uh, this is uh, how it's working in football and i'm very happy you know to be here because it was one of of nice moments in my life it's you know and um, how we played football you know how we created chances how we founded spaces and um, we can score 10 goals 
I think it was one of magic moments from generally Riga I've seen in Europe and uh, this, these children in Gadadop, they give this to, to all of you and um, you give back this, this, this kind of energy and one, one, one perfect night. Thank you. First of all, it's uh, the night of Riga, but uh, also it's the night of the game Monk and Duck. How it happened, I think many, uh, even tens, dozens of dribbles, uh, moments he created, uh, how he opened it, uh, and why he didn't see it uh, in the figures so often, so much before and today. Because, um, you know, you need to find a home, a home for every single player in, in your team, in your squad. And um, I, I promised to my president, please, um, can I, like, play in system like this and we will win and it happens like this. How do you decide to choose this system? Because I know on which position in which system my players can can give their maximum, and uh, it was today uh, just their qualities in 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 in, in, uh, in good shape. Also, we saw uh, early substitutes of uh, two forwards, Tavol and uh, Reja. Not uh, good day for them, or the opponent made uh, everything that uh, they both did out of his scoring chances. No, there was just not in game, you know, there was just not in game and um, yes, it's day like this and uh, what can I say now? As you said, uh, after the first half, because it was 1-3 uh, in the aggregate, uh, it was only one half to check everything. No, I just said, uh, after 45 minutes, uh, guys, I have a plan, I know what is to do. And you will know on the field what is to do. We need Brian and we need Anthony for second half. And we have everything. They will not stop us. They cannot follow us. We have so, so much creativity. We have so good qualities. We, you know, we have individual strong players, but we, we work as team. You know, I felt like the last 20 minutes in first half, we become team this, which I, which I has in my dream before. And, uh, but you know, sometimes uh, to put best player, which was away on the bench, nobody will uh, understand this, you know. And um, this is today was perfect game because uh, we started like this after we changed it and everything becomes true. And um, I told them after 45 minutes, we will win 3-1. It's no problem. I believe in you guys. Just stay Spakoina and everything is good. You have big quality. It's not about me. I was uh, shouting with my coaching staff. They shouting Mika and I was shouting, no, Bashir must shoot. No, coach, Mika is the best. I said, no, Bashir should shoot, shoot, shoot. The last part of my dream was like I put uh, Richard uh, Matrevic inside for penalty and he saved three penalties, but I cannot change. You know, I was so angry and after 128 minutes, I said, can I change goalkeeper? No coach, you did. I said, oh, fuck, I, oh, sorry. I did one mistake in my... And then uh, I wish, like, I closed my eyes and said, let's, let's score one goal because then should be like this and... Any uh, more emotions that was uh, after the game because it's maybe the most logical and magical of your life in uh, history this stadium. No, I'm just, I'm just very thankful, you know. I'm just very thankful for this opportunity here in club. This Riga FC uh, gave me this home, you know, to be coach in, in, in to, to, to have experience in Europe like this, this kind of night, you know, this is first club in my life, which gave me trust to lead them across these competitions, to lead them across championship. I'm very grateful, thankful. I, I, I and that's why it's, we just do our work. I'm just, you know, still young coach. I need to learn and, 
and this club, these people trusted in me, and I think this this win will make our trust to each other much more. And because it's uh, it's what can I say? It's just magic night, and I think uh, all my players uh, now can enjoy today evening. Tomorrow we will meet at ten o'clock in the morning because in two and a half days we have game against Supernova. We need to train and. No, 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 no space for emotions because we believe we can go through the into the group stage. You know, we we cannot be now like lose our head and of course we did something great, but uh, we 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 can go till the end and uh, this is our goal and and we must uh, you know play now next game against Supernova and try to win and with positive emotions because LFS, I think, cancelled the game and if we win, we have six points more on table. Maybe it's psychological thing for my players, give them boost because all small details are important and um, I'm just just thankful. For yours, it doesn't matter when they are currently um, I would like to say let's uh, enjoy tonight. Really, let's enjoy tonight and um, how we will prepare our professional. We will uh, we will watch how they play, like like always. But today, I think we should enjoy this moment. And I know morning is always more smart than evening. And if I tomorrow wake up, I maybe I will give you other answer. I don't know now. I need to to be smart from tomorrow. Congratulations on this more time, coach. I would like to return to the game. How do you think uh, that opponent played so deep? It was their plan from the beginning, or you pushed them so deep? I was so surprised that we have like uh, energy like this. You know, we are in very good physical shape, and they must be now on the on the highest level on on the on the on after their preparation and um, after one game, we already like tired and we played like this and we. We push them, of course. We push them uh, in this kind of, of 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 zones. But it was it was it was amazing because uh, we pushed them like with head. We never lost our rest defense. You know, we was like not naive. I told them before extra time. I said, just show me you are now mature, mature team. You don't lose your head. Pass from left to right, switch side and push them deep and cross on ground, dribble inside. We are a much better team. We play fantastic football, my style football. And don't just keep it. Don't lose your head. Nothing will happen. I think this 30 minutes extra time, I was very smart. I was very, very calm. Before 90 minutes to, to change this game, I was a little on fire. But in this 30 minutes, I think I was calmness, the coach on the bench. We were on the opposite side, so we didn't see the bench. What were the emotions during the game? Not only for you, but also for some of the players, other coaches. Maybe some screaming on other or on Hungarian bench. What were the atmosphere there on the bench? No, it was everything, everything good, you know. During 90 minutes, you can uh, say to each other many, many words, you know. This is not true. During, this is a war, you know. 90 minutes plus 30 minutes extra time is a war, you know. This is, you can shouting to each other between the coaches, shouting to other bench. This is like football, but this is nothing serious. It's no, not a serious uh, conversation, but it was emotional. They fight with us, but I felt during the game, there was like, with out ideas, you know, they, they, they just saw that this game go on the wrong way and we push and push and you see no impulse uh, from outside, no impulse from inside. You must win this game, you know, and um, as I told you yesterday, they said they are favorite 60 to 40. But I think, uh, to be honest to you, if we win today 8, 9, 1, it's maybe, maybe, maybe fair result uh, and also in, but it's football. Colleague asked about these substitutions uh, during half time, but I didn't miss. Uh, he didn't ask about new substitutions against them. Gone. What was the reason for this? Early? No, we, you know, um, it's this is what uh, what was our problem uh, at the beginning because uh, in this formation with. Uh, with uh, Petar, uh, with uh, Baba, and uh, with uh, Cherno, our main player in build-up was our goalkeeper. You cannot give them responsibility with many back passes. You cannot include them at home. You must take responsibility as defender. You must dribble to the front. You must find spaces. 
our main goalkeeper, main main player in build up was uh, uh, Tom and our goalkeeper, and I hate this. You know, we we play at home, we need to attack, we need to dribble, we need to create advantage, and Baba Musa was not able to play this. It was a game like this. He knows last game he was the best, and today was uh, just a, a weak moment, and he need to improve and he need to to learn, and that's all. It's I think he's also happy now uh, for our win, but this football, you know, if he don't take upon and take. He need uh, to to learn. He's still young, you know. And uh, I need to to you know only under pain you can grow up. If if I lie now to you, he was the best, and I just substitute him. But I will lie to you, lie to him. No, it's just it's just we need to 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 deal with this. We need to work on ourselves. You know, when we see something bad happens in the world, we open news, breaking news. Somewhere I'll die people. We, we feel nothing. We only feel pain if we look to mirror and work on our weakness. To be honest to you, that's why it's just this is painful, and we need only to to do our business. We are professionals, and we finish. I know you are tired. The last two questions uh, more about Edward Bushkevich. Uh, he went on. He took many initiatives, many dribbles, and uh, Welsh referee like uh, allowed physical battles, but still Bushkevich like uh, grow up and uh, fight. Uh, what can you comment about his performance? Ah, Edward Bushkevich, uh, you know, grow step by step up. I see this, you know, and uh, maybe someone uh, say or think uh, need to go grow faster up and everything. Um, I worked six, seven years with players between 17 years and 21, 23. I worked in Germany. I know how to deal with these players, how give them time, when put them in first 11, when put them from the bench. He just missed in the last few years, uh, missed uh, many minutes in his career. Now I need to, to, to push this inside too. But he has everything, you know. He just need to control his emotions and he do it now. And uh, he's on very, very good way. And uh, he showed today one more time uh, his quality. And um, if I look to our, our, our squad, uh, we have um, like unpredictable players which can do also Pekka and Guena, fantastic we moved inside from the bench. Oh, uh, Contreras, oh, fantastic how he tackled, how he ran uh, small Brian Pena. Uh, it was today medicine. It was medicine, uh, medicine uh, like as as football. We we took medicine with this kind of football with this with these fantastic players. And finally, provocative one uh, RFS is uh, out of the Europe. You are continuing in free tournaments. Is it an advantage for the first uh, in this league that they have, have uh, less games than you? No, it's not advantage. I think they are, after the game today they are maybe angry because they lost. I don't know even how is the result. Want to lose? No. no, I think they wanted win uh, in uh, Azerbaijan and in Baku, but they lost. I think they are disappointed today, and um, of course. Uh, we won and we continue and I like to travel, my players like to travel, we are not tired and I think LFS last year has this experience in, um, across this uh, and we... Title, they the I, I believe we have enough good players and uh, we will manage both, of course we will try to, to win title. This is our main 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 competition, but also I would like to play eight or six more games in Europe, like in group stage. Why not? It's good uh, good reputation for our club, good reputation for me as young coach. Ah, it's, we can only win, you know. We we don't need to think about. Uh, you see, today we played 120 minutes, and how we played, we have a big bench. Uh, no, I will push my players uh, how I can. I. I'm just happy to play next round because it's important for our club, it's important for us. We need to create heritage. LFS has experienced player in this, but we need to... My dream is also to go to group stage and to be champion and to win cup with Riga. And uh, we want, we, we would like, uh, we would not say no uh, about one title. We will attack all three titles. And uh, I'm just maybe now sad because about Latvian football generally, why LFS lost. And um, this is only my, my comment.